It seems like Rockstar is on the brink of repeating its own history, and if past events are any indication, we might just be on the cusp of a Grand Theft Auto 6 announcement. Believe it or not, this story begins with the GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition. As many of you are aware, Rockstar had initially announced that this trilogy would be making its way to mobile devices. To jog your memory, when Rockstar unveiled the GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition back in October 2021, they stated that these games would be available on both iOS and Android platforms during the first half of 2022. However, as you may have noticed, that time frame has come and gone, and Rockstar has remained relatively mum on the subject of these mobile versions. This might be attributed to the underwhelming reception and disappointment these remastered games received. In all likelihood, Rockstar might not be allocating much energy or effort into this project anymore. Since then, we've seen Rockstar shift its focus towards other ventures, such as the release of Red Dead Redemption for PlayStation 4 and Nintendo Switch. Furthermore, there have been swirling rumors that other remastered projects like Grand Theft Auto 4 may have been abandoned. By the way, I'm holding a monthly giveaway for a PlayStation 5. You just need to subscribe and you're entered. Now, back to the video. Taking a peek at Take-Two Interactive's investment slides, which is Rockstar Games' parent company, we find that mobile titles are still on the schedule for a worldwide launch, encompassing the fiscal years 2024 through 2026. Now, you might be wondering, what prompts us to believe that things might change soon? And how does this relate to the GTA 6 announcement? The answer lies in Rockstar's recent update to GTA Plus. Essentially, they are forging their own version of a Rockstar Game Pass. Subscribers to GTA Plus currently gain access to titles like Grand Theft Auto 3, GTA Vice City, and Grand Theft Auto San Andreas The Definitive Edition. This represents a brand new addition to GTA Plus, and Rockstar seems committed to enhancing this service going forward. While Rockstar's official website hasn't mentioned anything about mobile devices, the Xbox Marketplace page for GTA Plus does touch upon this in the fine print, stating, compatible device and internet connection required. Social club account and linked platform account with GTA Plus subscription required for access to iOS and Android games. It certainly seems like Rockstar has some exciting plans in the pipeline, and it involves bringing the mobile versions of GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition, comprising GTA 3, Vice City, and San Andreas, to smartphones. The intriguing part is that these mobile versions might just be available for free to those with a GTA Plus subscription. What adds to the anticipation is the timing of these developments, all taking place in the month of October. This timing hints at an imminent announcement, and it's reminiscent of a similar historical occurrence. To draw the connection to GTA 6, let's rewind back to October 13th, 2011. This was the day when Rockstar announced the Grand Theft Auto 310th Anniversary Edition for mobile devices, alongside a limited edition Claude action figure. Notably, that date aligns with October 13th, 2011. Why is this significant? Because a mere 13 days later, Rockstar dropped the bombshell. The official announcement of Grand Theft Auto 5. Rockstar has a knack for keeping things simple and effective in their announcements. Just like the straightforward tweet they posted at 7am, with the hashtag GTA5, to announce GTA5 back then, we might see a similar approach this time around. Expect a modest teaser, perhaps reminiscent of how they hinted at Red Dead Redemption, two through artwork, and the iconic red Rockstar Games logo. In essence, there are two key takeaways here. First, history seems poised to repeat itself, with Rockstar likely gearing up to make an announcement about the mobile versions of the GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition soon. Second, Rockstar has the ability to juggle multiple announcements, whether it's a major game reveal or news about an online DLC. This harks back to 2011, when they unveiled Grand Theft Auto V alongside other developments. The same scenario might just unfold this year, possibly in October. It would be quite exciting if Rockstar followed in the footsteps of their GTA V announcement strategy. This pattern also aligns with what Rockstar did in 2016 with Red Dead Redemption 2. Just weeks before they officially unveiled it, they were busy talking about one of the most significant online updates in GTA Online's history, the Bikers DLC. Interestingly, in the same communication where Rockstar dropped hints about the GTA Trilogy Definitive Edition, they delved into additional content headed to GTA Online. This demonstrates their knack for making multiple announcements in close proximity. Furthermore, let's consider Rockstar's social media platforms and where they make their announcements. As of now, there's no pinned post at the top of their Twitter or Xbox account. For those not familiar with the platform, a pinned post remains at the top of your page, ensuring it's the first thing visitors see, regardless of subsequent posts. 
Rockstar usually reserves this for significant announcements or recent releases. The absence of any pinned content has sparked suspicion among GTA fans that a major announcement from Rockstar could be imminent. If Rockstar indeed plans to replicate past patterns, the first sign to watch out for would likely be an announcement regarding the mobile versions of the Trilogy Definitive Edition. This could pave the way for a GTA 6 announcement in mid to late October, following the footsteps of GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2. These announcements tend to be straightforward. A game reveal, a logo reveal, and a tentative release date. Typically, a trailer swiftly follows. In both cases, for GTA 5 and Red Dead Redemption 2, it happened within days. All the signs are pointing in the direction of history repeating itself, and I'm optimistic about what lies ahead. Hopefully, we'll see these events unfold in the coming weeks. I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Do you believe this is mere coincidence? Or do you think Rockstar is poised to repeat history with a potential Grand Theft Auto 6 announcement? Share your insights in the comments below. I'm eager to hear your perspective. I mean, you look at the stock jump, it was up more than 10%, more than 11%, I think. Um, this is huge news because you have a lot of new properties that are coming out, but you're, you're usually pretty conservative about new things that have not been out there in the past. Generally, we like to have success before we talk about it. So what makes you so sure this time? We've been working on this pipeline for a long time, and we have a pretty good ability to predict the performance of new iterations of existing franchises. Like Grand Theft Auto? Um, and so and we have, actually we have 14 franchises that have each sold over 5 million units in an individual release. Like, let's say it's not as good as GTA 5 or as Red Dead or, you know, whatever. It's not gonna matter, because it's still gonna be amazing. You know, I mean, Rockstar and not yeah. they put out, they put out gold, you know, so, so I don't think it's going to, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be phenomenal. And, and frankly, it'll be worth the wait. So everybody should just calm down. Exactly. Man. Everybody calm down, you know. Honestly, take, even if they take let another it, five years. Yeah. Yeah. You don't want to rush if you, if, I mean, uh, 10 years, you know, I mean, not rushing, obviously, but, but you got to remember COVID was involved in, in, in there and, and, you know, that kind of, that's, that's got to be, a, a COVID's got to be almost a two year setback. You know? Oh, I agree. Yeah. So, so you know, you you, you got to understand all that and just be patient. Just keep playing, you know, GTA Five and and all the other games that are out there. Gentlemen, we we have to bring this up early in the interview, but GTA Six, obviously, all kinds of speculation. There's been some leaks. There's been some info out there. Can you guys? share anything about the game even if we could we have to kill your <laughs> afterwards so it doesn't yeah, matter no nah, we we have no knowledge there ain't nothing man so you guys weren't tapped for this game where are you guys in this we game? have no knowledge man. Okay. Okay. it's a mystery uh for gta 5 you guys had like a obviously there's a massive rollout you guys had to do all the recording beforehand and it was like a big big obviously job for everyone but like i'm sure you had to get ndas and everything mm -hmm. how was that did you guys have to like keep completely quiet or yeah like, what were the rules on that oh yeah you couldn't say anything even really? your family i mean really? we couldn't let anybody know anything and, and it was crazy we were talking about this last night i went over to solo's house for dinner and uh his wife made awesome tacos by the way but but we were talking about about when i got outed you know as as the guy 